My name's Kurt Dahlmeyer from Wellman, Iowa. And we're looking at my 1999-9300 International. Been a truck I've owned for 23 years and my personal truck and we decided to uh, restore it completely from the ground back up. I've got a son that wants to drive it for the next 15 or 20 years in the worst way and so we said... How old's your son? 23. All right. He's been, already been driving. He actually, it was his first truck he got to drive, and his brother's 22, got to drive it as their first truck. I won't maybe say they didn't have a license, but we drove safely on a country road, and so that was their first truck to drive. And so it's uh, been with us for a long time, and I actually bought the truck 10 days before he was born. That's why he thinks it's That's his like truck. That's like getting a puppy when you have a newborn. <laughs> I know. My wife was like, you're not driving to go buy a truck. I'm pregnant. I'm ready to have this child. And so... We've got pictures of him when he was in his little carrier sitting in there, and so that's why he's claiming the truck. Uh, we grew we, up together, Dad. Yeah, that's what he <laughs> says. So we stripped it down and, and did a total uh, overhaul. New electrical, new airlines, airbags. When we had it sitting there with bare frame, we said, let's do everything. So we did radiators, coolers, air compressor, starter. We just did it all because mm -hmm. we didn't want to have... A nice truck outside and two months later we have this go wrong and because it's going to be a working truck we're going to put it on the road every day and uh so we did that you wait till after this week to start working it no i've got another show in three weeks i'm going to go to that's local and and so i'm going to keep it clean for there and then there's another one in like two more months and it's a slippery slope <laughs> yeah my son's just waiting we wanted to hook a pot onto it and bring it down here but uh we just wanted to keep it clean and i've got a couple tweaks i didn't have time to complete yet but uh what was the last thing that was completed before you got it here or when you got it here uh well we we actually just because of how the mud flaps uh would hang on the fenders we uh put those on here because we didn't want them to get rubbed off on the way down That's so fair. very last very last thing and i and, and they're the old international tri-diamond inter international flaps i almost thought about you know that would change my emblem to the tri diamond but we didn't so i found the flaps they were they were kind of a last minute addition so you never see a 9300 at a truck show are international special to you very much we also farm besides uh run a trucking company and we've got red tractors so that kind of makes it hand in hand uh, i've had oh probably about almost a dozen internationals through the years my first truck I rode in was a 4300 International. How and old so were you? I'm going to say maybe five or six. It was hauling a load of cattle, which is what we do today. So that made it even more special. And with my grandfather and the guy who owned the truck, and I was sitting in the middle, kind of on the little doghouse, going back into the sleeper. That's probably my next thing I'm going to look for. And I think I found the truck I actually first rode in and you said you rode with your grandfather yes. so are you a third generation trucker no your dad drive? no i Skips am first i'm first generation <laughs> all together so that the only reason we were in a truck was my oh. grandfather was a farmer they, they were his cattle and so hey i want to ride in a semi and so we got to haul our his cattle to a packing house in des moines iowa that's no longer there an old swift packer and it's just been a downward spiral since yep then. <laughs> yep that's where i hit my head getting in and and uh the swelling hasn't gone down and so uh been into trucks and now i've got both my two boys that are into trucks and everything i do so i'm, I'm pretty proud of that my oldest can't wait to drive this my second his brother he wants an a model w9 so we might be switching gears from the international side and and let a Kenworth come. I've had a Kenworth in the past and some Pete's, but a lot of them were internationals and just, we, we just like the trucks and the drivers like the sleepers in them. And, and, uh, they were just very, very good trucks. We have had good dealerships locally. And I think that's part of it. You have a good connection. And so mm -hmm. you find something that works and that you like, and you just continue. We've been hooked ever since. And I'm glad there's one point that I was getting ready to sell the truck and say, all right, it's time to turn another page a new chapter i'm really happy i kept it because the 9300 and this particular one it's a 99 it's right almost one of the last ones built with the double stacked headlights it is kind of a little special for me just to have you know one of the last ones of this model and you just don't see them i had somebody make a comment i've got upper rear fairings and most of them had the lower cab fairings mine has the top extension and he goes did that come with us it absolutely he says, I've never seen them. Well, there's a few of them out there. Someone took care of this truck. They took so care of it. they're still there. <laughs> yeah, there's air cleaners, and I, they're original air cleaners with the 
diamond eagle stamped in them, which is, I think is kind of neat. One of the things that you don't see, we put picket elbows for our exhaust and straight pipes. We did cheat and use some Kenworth parts because the way it attaches from the frame to the down to the elbow and then also on the cab with kind of the Kenworth slide rod. We, we stole that from Kenworth and so we incorporated that Started. in our exhaust. Yeah. Did yeah. you do a lot of the work on the truck yourself? Uh, no. I wish I had the time and the tools and the ability. I took it to my international dealer that actually has been my dealer for almost 30 years, which is Thompson Truck in Cedar Rapids. They also brought a cab over. These trucks both started their process at about the same time. And so Travis was just gonna keep it around home. And I said, Travis, that's a beautiful, beautiful Transtar. And I've got what I feel is a beautiful 9300. You don't see a lot of the internationals at these shows. I'm like, we gotta go, and I think he's hooked. So we're gonna go to some more shows this year and together? have some fun. Yeah, that's great. We gotta keep them together. They're, yeah. they're, you know, they're two different generations or eras of trucks, and so yeah, we're gonna show them a little bit together, and it's 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 a lot of fun.